Hello and welcome to today's video. We are going to do something a little different. So I'm at my mom's house. If you couldn't tell, it is a different environment. But what we're going to do today is I found this. This Glamour magazine is 20 years old. She is September 2004. So what I did is I went through this and flagged some outfits that I am going to attempt to recreate at the thrift store. Now, I'm not going to have time to do many. So when I open this magazine to look through, there is a Maybelline ad, the very first page. And then the second page is a Gap ad with Sarah Jessica Parker. So this is what I'm going to go with. I'm going to try and find these outfits. One, two, maybe three. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I'm giving myself the option of buying them because I do like these outfits, even though it's a 20 year old ad. Um, or if I can't find anything in my size, which is probably going to be the case, is just styling the outfit in whatever sizes of items I could find. So that is the plan. So in looking through this magazine, like the styles are not that different in 20 years. Like this Liz Claiborne ad, you know, the jeans. And what I've noticed is there's a lot of blazers and tweed for September of 2004. A lot of red, which is also was all rage this year was red. Uh, what else? <clears throat> I love the crinkle. This, like these dresses, like floral, small floral, um, brocade. I don't know about that, but um, yeah, the, the styles are not that different in 20 years. So I think it should be, should be okay to find similar things. Like even their, like the fashion spread it's all very tailored and, um, you know, structured jackets and skirts. Like that yellow suit is really cute. You know, so, I mean, I do remember of that time, it was like from the office to the club kind of look where everybody kind of wore blazers, which I am here for. I do like that. But anyway, I need to get ready. Um, my hair is as I slept in it. So I'm going to put it up in a ponytail because of the crazy wind. Um, put on a t-shirt because I'm actually too warm in this. And head out to Value Village. Um, I might hit up um, Salvation Army too. But I think for this, I'm just going to stick with one store and see what I can find. Um, and then have like style it there. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. I'm going to get ready and we're going to go. I'm going to see what we can find. And see if I can find replicas of these 20-year-old outfits, which I actually really love. Like, look at this. Like, the jacket, the rolled-up jeans, the white shoes. I would love to be able to find, like, with the bag and everything. But anyway, we're going to go with this and see what we can find. All right. Let's go. Hello, I'm in St. John's again, and we're gonna head out to do some thrifting. I um, <laughs> brought my camera, my real camera, and had my lapel mic and my head, my all the stuff ready to go, and just checked, and I don't have a memory card. So we're back to my phone, even though I had I had all the things except a memory card. So anyway, we are, um, yeah, heading to Value Village. So, all right, so we're on our way to Value Village and I don't know if I'm gonna find what I'm looking for or not. Um, I just want to preface by saying I probably will be buying the things that are in the outfits that I'm looking for, mostly because I'm not too concerned about finding my size. I might just find the pieces that make up 
the look, hopefully. Um, and obviously they probably won't be my size. So, um, yeah. like it's in the photo so I might go with this it's long sleeve but that's fine there's it's supposed to be a jacket over it right buttons where the other one has buttonholes so I feel like it could work okay so at this point I have a shirt and a jacket and I need to find a tweed jacket and I kind of want one for me so I'm gonna check the mints so the jeans are kind of a looser leg that she wears so let's see what we can find so one of the first pairs I pull out is a Blue Notes pair, but it's kind of the perfect wash and you roll it up. I found a pair of Sarah Jessica Parker type heels to go with that tweed jacket outfit. Still haven't found the jacket, but um, I found golf shoes that would look really cute with the, this outfit. So now I need to find um, some socks, which are probably gonna be hard to find. Um, the tweed jacket and a purple tie. Doing pretty good. helpful if I had my microphone but anyway we're doing it in post as they say so I'm hiding in the corner in the book section so I can hang off things so I really like how this is turning out the wash on the jeans are not as light as I thought they were but that's okay so anyway I'm uh, hanging this up on the rack by the books I couldn't get the colored socks but we're going with white socks it's fine and the golf shoes look great. I wish I could have found the bag, but you know, you win some, you lose some. So on to the next outfit. I ended up buying this blazer because I love it. The tie actually works really well. Um, this guy next to me is telling me I left my phone on the shelf. And I'm like, yeah, did that on purpose. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to style it so you can see it. I, you know, again, didn't bring my tripod, so things are not in frame. So what I can tell from the picture of the magazine, there's no shirt. So this is what we're going with. Okay, I did it. I made two outfits from 20 years ago that were in that uh, September Glamour magazine from 2004. Um, too bad I couldn't wear them. But anyway, they weren't my size. Um, I did buy that brown jacket though. So I did get a few things um, not related to that, but I will share those with you another time. So thanks for watching. Uh, I've, I actually have no idea how much I filmed, so we'll see. Uh, all right, let me know if you like this kind of thing and if I should do something like this again. Thanks for watching. Bye.